forced into marriage to avoid giving my baby up for adoption. Now I'm 17, pregnant, and stuck in a life I never wanted. I'm 16 years old. I got pregnant by somebody I work with. He's 18 and is about to graduate high school. He's planning to join the military after he graduates. He's not my boyfriend. We were never in a relationship like that. I mean, I wish he was, but he doesn't seem interested in that. We're friends. He flirts with me. I lost my V-card to him. He didn't force me or anything like that. I've had sex with him multiple times. I'm 15 weeks pregnant now. Everyone knows. Well, not everyone because I'm still hiding it from a lot of people, but he knows and my parents know. I'm embarrassed by it. I feel like an idiot, like a joke, like trash. I just wish I could hide until after the baby's born. I want to never leave my house. My parents are basically forcing me to give the baby up for adoption. I live in a state with heavy option restrictions. It's way too late to even get one now. Parents told me this is my punishment for getting pregnant, that I deserve to have to deal with being pregnant now. They've decided that I'm giving the baby away and have already set up a meeting with an adoption agency. They say they won't let me ruin my life with a baby and they aren't going to raise my baby either. So, this is the only other option. My mom keeps saying you'll thank us later. I didn't get pregnant on purpose. I don't really want to be a mom right now. I turned 17 over the summer and will only be starting my junior year next year. At the same time, going through pregnancy and giving birth just to give me baby away terrifies me. I don't know if I can live with it. It literally makes me feel like I want to throw up or pass out. I feel like I have no choice but to go along with what my parents want. It's not like I could support myself let alone me and a baby. I could never just do it on my own. I was too scared to get an abstin earlier on before I told my parents I was pregnant. I was so scared that I'd get in trouble, but now I realize that probably would have been the easiest thing for me. If anyone reading this has given a baby up for abortion and survived it, please let me know what it was like. Do you get over it? Do you really end up feeling like it's the best thing for them and you're able to just live with it? Update, I'm 20 weeks pregnant now and will turn 17 within the next few weeks. So my parents are still forcing me to give my baby up for adoption. We've met with an adoption agency. So the adoption counselor knows that I don't want to do adoption. She asked to speak with me privately without my parents present to ask me a series of questions. I was honest and told her I didn't want to give my baby away, but I had no other choice. She seems to feel bad about it and told me that I will ultimately have to sign the papers after the baby is born. But my parents cannot sign the papers. Unfortunately, without my parents' help, I have no other options. So the adoption counselor talked to us about the option of my parents adopting my baby, which I don't really want either. So no worries, my parents' parents aren't interested in raising another baby. My parents want me to look at the potential families. I'm trying to look at them. It's so weird thinking that I'm looking at parents for my own baby. I know I'm not ready to be a mom, but it's still so weird. None of this feels like it's happening to me. I've talked to the baby's father. He graduated high school and goes off to basic training later this summer. I think he'd be fine with adoption. He said he doesn't really know what other options we have. We could get married since the military would at least help pay for a place to live and wed to have medical benefits, but I can't get married without parental consent. We don't love each other. What kind of marriage would that be? But it seems like the only realistic solution. I hate the idea of being married at 17 years old and to a person who doesn't genuinely want to be married to me. So then another option which still involves marriage might be for his parents to help out. Even take care of the baby and let me see him or her until I'm 18 and don't need my parents' permission to get married. That doesn't really seem fair to them. He could try to object to an adoption, but it's not guaranteed that his wishes would be respected. Plus, then what happens to the baby? His parents seem like good people. I don't know them well, but I've met them. They're worried about what this will do to his future. But they told my parents they believe it should be our decision and that it's their job as parents to help us. My parents basically said it's their job to protect me and that all of the responsibility will fall on me and it'll be my life that's ruined. Our families met to discuss everything, but it was really just parents telling them what was going to happen and that they and their son have no say in it. I don't have an ideal adoption situation right now because I still can't accept adoption, but probably two gay guys. It's the women in these couples I look at that seem more fake than the men for the most part. Again, I know this sounds terrible to say. Something about a lot of the women is just really rubbing me the wrong way. Maybe two lesbians because the few lesbian couples I've seen at least seem more genuine than the straight women. Well, in some cases, the gay couples could have their own biological children, even if the children didn't share both parents' DNA. But I'm just more drawn to those couples and profiles I've seen just seem more genuine. But yes, it feels like nobody is good enough for my baby. I acknowledge that it might not seem rational. If you've never been in the position of having to look at families, all complete strangers, to give your baby to, you probably can't fully understand. I'm allowed to be picky. This could be the biggest, most important decision in my entire life, and this is the only part of the whole adoption thing I actually have much of a say in. I'm only 20 weeks pregnant, not 38. 
There's no rule stating I have to have a family picked out yet. Some people take longer picking out a new car to buy. It's not as if adoption was a choice I came to on my own and even feel positive about, so yeah, looking at potential adoptive families is going to give me some feelings. As I stated, it's not a matter of thinking I can or cannot provide a better life. It's a totally bizarre and heartbreaking thing to do to read through profile of families to give your baby, too, and there are a ton of families. Update 2. I don't know why I'm suddenly getting a ton of responses on my post from a week ago, but figured I'd post an update because a few things have changed. I had an ultrasound on Friday and found out I'm having a baby boy. He's basically fully formed and just needs to get bigger now. I saw his head and his nose and they even got a picture of the bottom of his two feet together because he was sort of sideways at first and we had to get him to move. It looks sort of like footprints. I could clearly see his little hands and everything. So I already said it in my previous post, but people are still sending my info about abortion. I know those people are trying to help and I wish I had maybe reached out here when I first found out I was pregnant since I didn't know I could get pills mailed to my house. I just can't get an abortion now. It's a fully formed baby. I even named him. It won't solve my problem at this point because my biggest problem with adoption is how I'm going to live with it mentally for the rest of my life. Now that I know it's a baby moving around in there, and stuff, I think I would also not mentally be able to handle an abortion now. If it was still just a lump of cells, I'd feel different, but I was too scared to do anything then. I want to keep my baby. I don't want anyone else to have him. This is my baby. I don't think I can survive handing him over to somebody else. It's not fair. I know I made a mistake, and I shouldn't have had sex. I shouldn't have sat there doing nothing when I could have got an abortion and saved myself all this suffering and still had my parents love and accept me since they'd never have to know. So they called me a slut. I have barely any privacy anymore. What do they think I'm going to do? After the ultrasound, I sent the baby's father the pics. He wasn't there. My parents don't want him or his family involved now, probably because I told them he offered to marry me, and they yelled at me for even considering that. I told him I can't give the baby away and asked if his parents were really serious about helping and if he'd hate me for keeping it. He said he won't hate me. I still think he'll blame me for ruining his life. He already told me he thinks adoption is the best choice. So if we got married and he got caught cheating on me, even if I was okay with it, he could get in a lot of trouble. So he said, why would I cheat on you? He said he likes me. He wouldn't have sex with me if he didn't like me. He just didn't see the point in us being in a relationship since he was leaving anyway. It was just easier that way. The thing is, I know I'm not the only girl he's been with during that time. I'm not stupid enough to think I'm special to him. Or he loves me and we both know it's sort of ridiculous to imagine us being married or acting like adults, but I guess that's what you have to do if you have a baby. I can't really imagine being a wife, but maybe it wouldn't be too bad and I'd get to move away from my parents. He said it's really weird to think about, but I have very few options and he doesn't know what else he's supposed to offer, but he's going to talk to his parents since I'm too shy, too. Mm, I guess I'm assuming they were just saying it to be nice, but are probably happy my parents are making me do the adoption. He says his parents aren't like that. I'm really just an inconvenience to everyone, and if I keep my by baby, he might end up not liking me too. I don't want to screw up my baby's life. I would do everything I could to be a good mom. I would grow up and learn how to be a wife and mom and an adult. I can't imagine living after giving my baby to somebody else. Also, if you're looking to adopt a baby, please do not message me here. Many people already have, and I just delete those messages. It's creepy. Ipes. If I do put my son up for adoption, it will not be to somebody I met through Reddit. I'm sorry. It's just very creepy to be messaged by adults on here who want to adopt my baby. Update 3. I'm 24 weeks pregnant now. I just turned 17. My parents have been trying to force me to give my baby boy up for adoption. I've made several posts about it. I don't want to do it. We've met with the adoption agency and looked at families. I don't think I can survive if I do it. I can't imagine my babying out there or forever being a nuisance to an adoptive family. They said if I keep the baby I'll be doing it all on my own. They aren't going to help me in any way. The baby's father's family is willing to help me, though. The baby's father isn't my boyfriend. I know that probably sounds bad. We were never officially in a relationship. Just friends, really. But his parents have been a lot nicer throughout this whole thing. I don't know them well, but I'm getting to know them better now. I'm going to have to since they are willing to help me slash us. They aren't really happy that I'm pregnant, but they believe it should have been my decision about what to do about the pregnancy and eventual baby. And that as parents, it's their job to help and support the decision. He's joining the military. His dad is retired military. Brother is military. It what he's always wanted to do. He just started basic training. So, the plan is that we're going to get married when his family and I go out there for his graduation, unless he changes his mind between now and then. Which he might. I know he might. He hasn't said that. But I'm just scared he will. There wasn't time to do it before he left. Anyway, his tech school is over a year long. 
so the baby and I could move out there with him if need be. Or I can stay with his family here until he goes to his permanent duty station. That would allow me to graduate high school instead of getting a GED. Or at least finish the next year of high school normally. I need notarized approval to take the GED at 17 and my parents refuse. But they've agreed to sign paperwork to allow me to get married. I don't understand them. I don't understand how they'd rather allow me to get married and go live with another family instead of just allowing me and my baby to live at home until I finished school and turned 18. It makes no sense. I'm not even a parent yet, and I wouldn't let my 17-year-old get married. If it was between my 17-year-old getting married and moving across the country or supporting her decision to keep her baby and assisting her with finding resources to enable her to parent, I know which option I'd choose as the marriage. It hurts so bad. They've essentially said if he's going to marry me and his family is going to help us, then I'm not their problem now. So they'll sign off on that. They yelled at me, called me names, and locked me in my room. I could go back to being the daughter they love if I would just go along with their plan. So but they things will never be the same between us again. His parents were the ones who convinced them to approve of the marriage. They met with my parents. Actually, we all met together. They've been the only ones advocating for me at all. They want me to finish school. They're going to help me arrange childcare, and I'm going to move in with them before the baby is born. I will take my newborn baby home to their house. I don't even know these people. It's strange and uncomfortable for me, but I'm at the point where I can't be picky about what help is offered. And luckily the baby will be covered by his dad's insurance, no matter what. And I will be covered by insurance once we're married. I'm not planning to depend on military benefits to address all our needs. It's just one piece of the puzzle. After I graduate, I plan to get certified for something that has good career prospects and pays well. I'm going to be smart about what field I select, and I will use any opportunity to find grants or scholarships to help pay. My parents want me to go straight to a traditional four-year college. I'm in honors classes now, and I get really good grades. I scored very high on the PEPSAT. I should go to college. But I'm not really interested in any of the career fields that make college worth it, financially, in my eyes. Unless I got a huge scholarship, I'd be paying mostly with student loans. So I'm looking into other avenues where I can enter my chosen career field much sooner and start making good money quicker without incurring so much debt. A current Shiba. I'm really scared about everything. I've never had to do any adult things. I've blown up my whole life by getting pregnant and not going along with my parents' plan. I don't even feel like I have parents now. Um, I never thought my family would end up this way. I sort of just want to go along with their plan because in many ways it'd be a lot easier. I could go back to my life and still be accepted by my parents and have their love and support again. So but my life will never be the same. I think I'd regret taking the easy way out. I don't think adoption would be easy for me at all. But as far as day-to-day -day life struggles, it'd probably help easier. I think I'd grow up and hate myself for doing it, and I'd never be able to undo it. What I'm doing now is the only option that I don't think I'll spend my whole life regretting. At least it won't make me feel like a coward. I still feel sick to my stomach when I think about everything that's happening. That I'm going to live with virtual strangers. That I'm going to get married. That I will eventually move across the country and be a mom and a wife before I can even legally drink alcohol. And although moving across the country doesn't sound too bad right now, I just don't know what I'm doing. I think I'm probably taking on too much, but it still makes me happier than when I thought I'd have no choice but to sign adoption papers. Update 4. Hi. I found out my posts have been reposted on a Best of Redditor sub. Since then, I've literally received over 100 DMs. Some are very long messages and I'm sort of overwhelmed by all the messages. I can't respond to all of them, but I've responded to some. Some people have been incredibly nice and I even cried happy tears over some of them because I can't believe how nice and supportive some strangers are being. It means a lot because I obviously don't have a huge amount of support in real life and I feel very alone, even though his parents want to help. Other messages are trying to convince me to choose adoption while others are just outright cruel and have also made me cry. But the truly disturbing ones are from people wanting to adopt my baby, despite me already requesting that these people stop messaging me. So I'll say it again, I'm not giving my baby up for adoption. If I did choose that, I wouldn't choose a person who sent me an unsolicited message on Reddit. If the people who have messaged me about adopting my baby are real, you're giving adoptive slash hopeful adoptive parents a bad, very bad name. Look, I understand why some people think I should place my baby for adoption but you're wasting your time trying to convince me to do that now. I am decided. I'm keeping my baby. I know it's going to be very hard. I have to give up a lot. I have to take on a lot that I wasn't prepared to take on at this time in my life. I'm very scared. I know this is something I have to completely dedicate myself to, and I've committed to my decision, and I'm moving forward, even if I'm scared to death. So what would be supportive at this time is information from military spouses that might help to prepare me, educate me on resources, 
connect me to where I can find info. I think I'm going to try to find a community on here to post to if there's a relevant community. If you know of any non-military sources I might want to look into, I'd love to know about those. If you have a career suggestion that I might want to look into, I'm totally open to hearing about it. I don't plan to go to a four-year college right away, maybe later if it aligns with my life in the future. After I graduate high school or get my GD, I'm leaving my options open, but either way I will complete high school and be able to pursue further education of some sort. Um, and I want to get training and certifications for a good job field that I can get into rather quickly, and that pays well. And that pays well. This isn't wishful thinking. I know these jobs exist. There are some jobs, such as teacher, that quite a college degree and don't pay well at all. There are some trades that pay very well. I don't think I'm being unreasonable by foregoing a four-year degree right now. I don't have four years to wait to get into a career. If you have parenting advice, especially anything related to a newborn, then I'd appreciate it. Also, a more trivial question, do I get a white dress to get married in? I'm getting married at the courthouse and will be obviously pregnant. My parents would say, no white, but my parents aren't involved and don't get a say. I feel kind of silly wearing a white dress. I'm not talking a formal wedding gown, obviously not that type of event. I don't think being married, being a parent, or being a military spouse will be easier like a Hallmark movie. But I think this is the best option I have, and it will remove some of the biggest immediate stressors from my shoulders. We're getting married. It's not something we're considering. We've both agreed to it. He is the one that suggested it in the first place. This is our plan. I know he could change his mind over the next several weeks, and that's just me being realistic. So across that bridge, if we come to it, we'll be able to communicate with him before graduation. So he better tell me then if he's changed his mind. I will be going to his graduation with his parents, and we will be getting married that weekend. I will then return home with his parents. I'll be living with them and am preparing for that right now. I will eventually move to where he will be stationed so that we can both raise our son. His parents shouldn't be my co-parents, and there's no other way for him to be there if I don't go to where he's at. He said this is his kid and his responsibility. I know he's not happy to have a baby now or with me, but he's willing to take responsibility for it and he says he wants to be a good dad. At home in my house currently, not much has changed. Things are extremely tense between my parents and I. They remind me regularly how stupid my plan is and how I'm going to do this all alone without their support. I spend most of my time in my room. I also still have my part-time job and I'm thankful when I'm not home. I have plenty of research and planning to do to keep me busy though. Also, it wasn't statutory rape. He was 17 when I got pregnant. I mean, he turned 18 within days of when it happened, but he was still 17. He did nothing wrong. He did not coerce me. He didn't lead me on or lie to me. We both screwed up. I'm also not doing this to have a baby to play with. I'm not a parent, so I can't know how hard it really is yet. But I know it's going to the hardest thing I've ever done and could break me. I don't think having a baby is like having a fun toy, but I love my baby, my little boy. I'm keeping him. I'm his mom. I'm going to do whatever I have to do for him. Do you think I want to move in with strangers? Do you think I want to get married in this situation? Leave school? possibly struggle every step of the way from here on out. I know. Adoption would be the solution that would allow me to not have to do those things. But this is my choice and I don't want to be separated from my baby. Update 5. I'm just feeling really sad and lonely. I guess that's why I'm really posting an update here. School started on Tuesday. My normal group of friends at school are basically ignoring me. At lunch I sit at the table with them, but I'm sort of all by myself at the end of the table and nobody talks to me. They ignore me in the halls. I rather they just say something to me. Tell me they never want to talk to me again or something. Just come out with it, you know? I wanted to continue school. I don't know if I'll end up dropping out and getting my GED. I will definitely get my GED if I don't finish regular high school. My parents won't give me the required approval, but once I'm married, that requirement should be waived. I feel like getting my GED as soon as I can might be the smartest move. That way I could start a full-time job and figure out what sort of certification or further education I want to get. Another part of me wants to finish regular high school just to prove I can. I'm not interested in having the traditional high school experience at this point. That went out the window a while ago. It'll be so hard to manage school with a baby, though. And I don't know how much longer I can take being the pregnant outcast. It's like everyone just stares at me. Nobody says anything mean to my face. They just don't talk to me at all anymore. I've also moved into my baby's father's parents' house. That's complicated. He's not really my boyfriend. I guess he's my fiancé, but that feels weird to say. My future in-laws? I don't know. It all sounds surreal. They're so nice. There's nothing wrong with them. But I've cried myself to sleep every night. I've only been here five nights. I'm so sad. Even though my parents were upset with my decision and things were tense without much communication in the last few weeks, I still miss my home and my room. I guess it's not really my home anymore, and it never will be again, and that also makes me cry. They set up a bedroom for me here. They painted the walls my favorite color. 
They got new furniture for me and everything. They didn't have to do any of that. I don't really know how to react. I feel like I owe them something. It makes me feel uncomfortable in a way. I still can't believe my parents just let me go. I thought maybe they'd change their mind. They don't agree with any of my decisions and they've made that very clear. Final update. I'm about to be 32 weeks pregnant now. I can't believe I'm due in eight weeks. That's just two months. I could actually have a baby by Halloween and that's crazy to me. Seeing all of the Halloween stuff out everywhere scares me, but not for the reasons it's supposed to. It scares me because it reminds me of how close I am to giving birth. I'm married now. No matter how many times I say it, it doesn't feel real. It seems like a joke or a bad dream. I don't really like thinking of myself as married. It's weird. I'm a kid, really. It makes me feel sort of sick when I say it. We got married this week after he graduated from basic training. His parents and I traveled together and his older brother, who is also in the military, met us there and it was the first time I ever met him. So after his graduation, he had a day pass and we went to the courthouse and got married. I got very nervous beforehand and started crying and saying I couldn't do it. In the end, I did it. I think his family might have been a little upset with me. And then I asked that they not be there when we actually got married since my family wasn't there and having his family there, but my family not there would just be too sad for me. Maybe that was wrong of me. I, I just felt so weird about the whole thing. I felt nauseous the whole time. So uncomfortable. He was sort of annoyed with me because I'm the one who wants to weep the baby so bad, so I'm the reason behind all of this. I'm sad and the reason behind all of this, supposedly. Didn't know that meant I couldn't have a moment of panic right before it happened. It's not something I want to publicly advertise right now. It just feels so weird. Some people know about it and keep asking me for all these details, and it's like I don't want to talk about it. It wasn't some sort of cute special romantic thing. His mom was being an annoying too, and not on purpose. I know she was trying to do some nice, sweet, special things for us given the circumstances, but I didn't want any of that. Um, it just made me feel so uncomfortable. Ordering special wedding cake desert for us, the giving me jewelry from her family. Hey, their family. I wanted to scream. But I don't know how to communicate that I don't want any of that, and it makes me feel uncomfortable without hurting feelings, so he told her for me. That made me feel bad. I went to this meeting they have for new military spouses. I felt like I was about to have an anxiety attack and pass out. I didn't want to go. It was like for spouses. Oh, I'm not a spouse. It's not for me. Then I realize I am one. We're back home now. I mean me and his parents. He'll be heading to his tech school, which is far away from here. It's a long tech school. No guarantee he'll even be able to come home when our baby is born. He definitely will miss the birth either way. I get that that's just how the military works, but it's so foreign to me and something I still have to get used to. I guess I don't have much more to update right now.